Welcome to Jingle Jam. I'm Bree. And I'm Joe. Merry Christmas, friends. Merry Christmas! What <laughs> you got going on? Okay, check these out. Did you make la, these? La, la, la. Of course I did. Wow, you're so talented. I wanted to show you and your whole family, and this seemed like a great way to get things started. Because, well, you simply can't have enough Christmas. Am I right? You're definitely right. Okay, check this out. Bree. That's a pretty interesting thing you've got there. What is it? Okay, this is my Advent wreath. Now, because it's Christmas, in fact, this year, we're gonna be talking about an adventurous Christmas. Wow, I see what you did there. All right, friends, if you have some candles at home, your family can do this along with us tonight. That's right, and if you don't, no worries. You can just watch this now and do your candles in order between now and Christmas. Now, some of you may light candles like this every year, but for some of you, it also might be the start of a new tradition. You'll see what I mean as we go along. Okay, it takes some patience, which is tough for me at Christmas time. <laughs> I hear you. I don't like waiting. How about you guys? But these candles are all about waiting and using the time to prepare our hearts and minds for Christmas. Because this Christmas, I want you to know that there is... Bree, I thought you turned off notifications on your computer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I did too. Okay, I can't take this call right now. Oh my gosh. All right, um, oops. Oh. Thank you! Ah, thank you! Oh boy, you. it's Reginald. And in the spirit of Christmas, I don't think you can hang up on him. Good day, Tan! Good day, fair viewers! My name is Reginald Fastidious III. I am the greatest one-man Shakespearean Bible story reenactor, And I am here so that you may enjoy my presence and know that this Christmas Yes, that is what I was telling everyone. This Christmas, we can boldly say that there's absolutely- Help! Thank you! Yes, wait, what? Thank you! Reginald, we are doing our Christmas. And thank you, my dear viewers, thusly. <laughs> Reginald, it's been a rough year, but all hope is not lost. Yes, it is. No. Yes! <gasps> no, it, it is not. Yes, it is! Oh! oh! I just punched myself in the nose! Reginald, unlike you, I actually believe there is a lot of hope to be had, especially around Christmas. That's not what the Bible says. What are you talking about? Surprise, I've read the Bible, I see! Well, after performing it for ten years, I finally decided to actually read it! And I was appalled! Oh! <laughs> there my lip. <laughs> oh! Behold, I am the bearer of bad tidings during this happy season. Prepare for the worst. Oh, I'm prepared. To the performance art piece, thusly. Um, so I know we said we we're gonna celebrate Christmas, but I find that when Reginald dials in, it's best to just let him do his thing. In the beginning, God created the universe and all that is in it, including our home, Earth. But don't get used to it. <laughs> God didn't say that last part. Then God created the first human, Adam. 
but God took one of Adam's ribs ow, to make the first woman, Eve. Ow! I got Adam's back, Adam's back, Adam's back, Adam's back, rib. I've got Adam's back, Adam's back, Adam's back, Adam's back, rib. <laughs> However, Adam and Eve broke the only rule God gave them. People were separated from God. Huh. Things kept getting worse. God called an old man named Abraham. Yes, Lord. I will have as many children as there are stars in the sky in the heavens. Well, how do you expect me to pay for college? No hope. <laughs> then all of Abraham's descendants were enslaved by the Egyptians. Walk like an Egyptian. Some of this is in the Bible. Some of it. So God spoke to a man named Moses who apparently wore Abraham's hand-me-downs, but he had a stick through a burning bush and told Moses he would convince Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. God sent terrible plagues like frogs. 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 Eventually, Pharaoh let God's people go. And Moses led them to safety by walking through the Red Sea. But the Israelites disobeyed God and couldn't enter the land God promised them for 40 years. No hope! And then they were ruled by bad kings. <laughs> ah! And the Israelites were conquered by the Babylonians! Ah! Hoosh, hoosh. Everyone, run away! Run for your lives! Ah, no hope for you! Ha, ha, ha! Reginald, Reginald, Reginald! Ha, 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 penguin, ha, ha! Reginald and scene! What? Oh! Thank you! Ah, thank you! Th Reginald, first of all, there are tons of stories you've skipped over in the Old Testament that are filled with hope and joy and peace and love. Ha! No, listen, the Bible is an amazing story of God's love for us. Uh, really, I guess it starts out as a mess, but God has a plan to fix it right from the very start. Even when things look difficult, God is still working his good. Uh, that's where Christmas comes in. I thought it began in July when all the stores started selling Christmas decorations. Actually, it begins a long time before that. It starts with this candle. Wait, are we expecting a power outage? <laughs> no, if anything, this candle represents a message of ultimate hope, and that's where we start the Advent wreath. It's a century old tradition where people light one candle each of the four Sundays in December to help them get ready for Christmas and remember what it's all about. Oh, what's happening? Oh, my connection! Mom must be streaming another Hallmark movie. Mom! Mom, I'm trying to stream! Oh no! I think. Well, I hope he's still watching, but. And all you families out there, take a look at this as we get ready to light our first candle. All right. How's it looking? Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, you want to get that? Yeah. Yeah, get that piece right there. It's tied up, just like your shoes. <laughs> okay, enough MacGyvering. It's fine. Oh, you know, we just gotta get it just right. Just right. Okay, Let's get it just right, get it just right. <laughs> okay. Um, there we Mama. go. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. 
In the beginning, God created everything. He created people and his image to be his friends. And it was good. But then the people God loved so much turned away from him. Sin entered the world and everyone and everything was broken. For thousands of years, people just kind of did their own thing. Things were looking pretty dark. But from the beginning, God had a plan to rescue his people, to rescue us. And he shared that plan with the prophet Isaiah. Go ahead now. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And that is what hope looks like. Hope looks a little wonky. No, it's, ooh, uh, get it. Dad! Get it. Can I call 911? <laughs> I think that's all the hope I can handle today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Isaiah knew that things weren't going well for most people. He knew they needed to see that God had a bigger plan, that God had promised to send us the greatest repair person of all to fix our broken world, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the greatest doctor. God's rescuer would be all of those things. This candle represents that hope. Now, if you lit that candle along with us, you wanna make sure it's in a safe place because I think we're gonna get up and move around a little bit. Let's see what kind of fun Jill has planned for us. Hey friends. I say we get up and move around some. Let's play a game. And it's a game that I like to call light and hoop. You are going to need an unbreakable Christmas ornament as well as something to throw it in. I'm gonna go ahead and use like a Christmas type bucket. And you can use anything. It can be a lampshade or a box or a trash can, anything. Okay, so for the game, the oldest person in your family goes first. Take a few steps back from the hoop and then throw the ball in. Try again, but this time get back a little bit farther. Keep going until you miss. Then mark how far you got. After that, pick the person next to go. See who can get the farthest away from the light and still make the hoop. You can pause the video while you play. I'll be right here to find out who wins. Are you ready? Okay, pause.
So who won at your house? I didn't get very far before my shot bounced right off the side of the bucket. But I think I'm gonna try again later with the family. I think I just need a little more competition. Maybe if my brothers were here, except my brothers win at everything. And I admit that makes it tough sometimes. But you know what? You know what I realized? Sooner or later, we all face a moment where we don't get what we want. It may be losing a game or maybe not getting that gift that you really, really want. We all face that, even my brothers. So let's head back over to Joe and Bree and see what they've got planned and maybe they'll light the next candle. Hey friends, welcome back. We hope you had a great time playing that game. Let's take a look at one family's Christmas journey that looks a little different than they expected this year. here okay but remember no one has heard from God for hundreds of years since Isaiah at least that's what we know about it right and then out of nowhere God sends the angel Gabriel to an ordinary girl named Mary and he says do not be afraid Mary God is very pleased with you you will become pregnant and give birth to a son you must call him Jesus he will be great and he will be called the Son of the Most High God. He will rule forever over his people, and that kingdom will never end. You would have flipped out. Well, yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> All right, girls. Can we finish? Okay. So then Mary asks, How can this happen? I'm not even married yet. And Gabriel says, The Holy Spirit will make this happen. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child, even though she is old. That's because what God says will always come true. And Mary says, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. She just goes with it? No way. Yeah, I bet she asked way more questions than Luke records here. But somehow she chooses not to let this crazy, unexpected thing send her into a tailspin. That's what real joy looks like. Wait, I want to do it. On the count of three. One, two, two three. three. You are gonna blow those out as soon as we hang up, right? It probably helps with the dirty laundry smell. I'm not gonna burn down the dorm, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Friends, I've lived through some fantastic Christmases, and I've lived through some Christmas seasons that weren't quite what anyone would expect. No matter what this season looks like for you and your family, you can find joy. Real joy. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's true. Even when things seem like they're never going to be quite right, you can trust in God. Why? Because He'll work it all out. And He loves you so much that He's not going to leave you in the middle of a mess for very long. So we've lit two candles on our journey toward Christmas. Hope and joy. Can you guess what this candle is for? Let's take a look. Ropes, yeah. Ropes and hot chocolate. That's what oh, good. You did find it. I did. I did. <laughs> it's a little different this year, but you know what? It's going to be great. It's okay. It'll still be special. There we go. All right, story time. Okay. Luke 2. We're going to read about how God gave us baby Jesus. <laughs> In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law 
It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. And the king's rule meant that everybody had to take a trip back to the place that they came from. So right before Mary was supposed to have her baby, Joseph and Mary had to go on a long, long, long trip to Bethlehem. <laughs> yep, that's right. But they didn't have a car like we do. Did they have a plane? <laughs> <laughs> they actually had to ride on a donkey. Whoa. You know, the yee haw yee haw <laughs> Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and when they got to Bethlehem, everybody else had come back too. So that means there were no hotels or guest rooms for them. So that means Mary and Joseph had to stay in a place with all the animals. Would you want to sleep next to a sheep? Mm -mm. It'd be bad. <laughs> bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> all right. Now, while Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large cloths. Then she placed him in a manger. Yeah. God loves us so much that he gave us baby Jesus. That's right. And to celebrate that, we're going to light this special candle to remember how much God loves us. Do you think you can help me? Yeah, you can do it. There yeah, you go. Good job. <laughs> good job. Come here. Your mom's gonna get your sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see your sister? <laughs> be gentle, be gentle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good, good job. job. <laughs> Babies change things. But the baby we celebrate at Christmas changed everything for everyone, everywhere. The love shown by the Son of God, leaving heaven and becoming one of us, is more than any of us can ever imagine. This Christmas, I pray that love is a huge part of everything you do, everything you give, and everything you feel. I think it's time for another game. Wow, that sounds like fun. All right, let's see what Jill has in store for us. I think it's time for another game. And I don't care how old you are, this one is going to be fun. See, babies take a ton of care, attention, even special food. So in honor of those seven pound noisemakers we love so much, we are going to make our own version of baby food. That's right. Everyone gets to pick out one ingredient and it can be tasty or something else. You can pick an ingredient like chocolate chips, mm, honey, crackers, anything. Everyone in the room gets to choose an item. Then you mix it up in a bowl or a blender and everyone, and I mean everyone, has to take a bite. So again, all you need is that mixing bowl or blender, something to stir it with, and your baby food ingredient. Simple, right? And as you're picking out these ingredients, remember Christmas is just around the corner. So pause the video and I'll wait to hear how it goes. You can pause the video in Three, two, one.
How did it go at your house? I chose yogurt. Mm, I love yogurt. Yeah, that can be a tricky game if someone wants to pick out pickles or ketchup or something like maybe hot sauce. Ooh. At this time of year, you don't always know if something is going to be really great or well, not so Christmassy. But there is something going on underneath all the busyness and all the parties and noise that still leads us to that special time at Christmas. Let's get back to Joe and Brie and check out our final two candles. Welcome back friends. Are you ready to check out our final two candles? Take a look. Mm. Mm. Oh, cocoa. So Whoops. good. Thank you. It is very good. Thank you. <laughs> and the cookies. cookies. Oh, good really too. good. Yeah. You would like those. <laughs> Okay, I've assigned parts. Huh? <laughs> Seriously, Dad? <laughs> Not everything needs to be a grand plan. Uh, oh, looks like I'm up. <sighs> there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa, Dad. <laughs> and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Uh, I know, I know. Uh, uh, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here's how you'll know I'm telling you the truth. You'll find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. You can do that with your phone now? It's a new app. Keep going. And the angels were praising God, and they said, May glory be given to God in the highest heavens, and may peace be given to those He is pleased with on earth. May glory be given to God in the highest heavens, and may peace be given to those He is pleased with on earth. <laughs> the angels left and went into Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. After the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. The shepherds returned. They gave glory and praise to God. Peace on earth. With God with people. Can we do this again? <laughs> the final candle on the outside of the Advent wreath stands for peace. Peace in the middle of anything. Peace that only comes from God. And this candle in the center here is called the Christ candle. It stands for Jesus Christ who has come to save us all. To give us hope, joy, peace, and love. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's do this. Just let mom do it. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Thought you wanted to call the fire department. <laughs> it's all right, mom knows what she's doing. Oh yeah, mom got this. <laughs> So, Dad, yeah. how long ago was the first Christmas? <laughs> well, Jesus was actually born about 2,000 years ago. 2,000? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Christmas wasn't just something that happened a long time ago. I mean, God sent his son, Jesus, to rescue all of us for all time. And because of Jesus, everything will be made right again. We know that we can have hope, joy, peace, and love. <laughs> and when we follow Jesus, God can work through us to bring hope and joy and peace <laughs> and love into the world around us. So mom, what's that candle? Well, that is the Christ candle. We light it on Christmas Eve as a reminder that God kept his promise. 
that there has never been a greater gift in this world than Jesus. Mm. Can I light it? Yeah. Let me give you a hand. Yeah. Got it? Oh. Careful. Nice. Wow. This was fun. This was fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very lovely advent yes. we have here. Good job, Mom. Thank you, Mom. And thank you. <laughs> Christmas is so many things to so many different people. So bringing those beautiful things to people for all times and all places and all cultures should look a little different. That's right. Christmas is only possible because of our journey that always takes us to this candle right here in the middle. The one that represents what Christmas is all about, God's Son. This candle shines so bright in our lives that it helps put everything else in the right light. That is the greatest gift ever. It was the first gift of Christmas, and it will be the greatest gift for every one of us forever. Thanks for going through the Advent wreath with us, and I hope you had as much fun as we did. And from all of us at South Point Church, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.